All right, guys, Father Time, going to get right into this. FSI Panel 2020 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Download about $50 for the advanced version. Click on it. Everything else is off. The Microsoft Flight Simulator program is off. All you're doing is getting FSI set up. And here's what you'll see once you download it. You hit Setup. It come in here. Uh, you want to look at your license information. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Um, options. Um, this is if you want to position yourself on a downwind final, short final. Let's see what short final is. Uh, let's see. Position, setup. Short final is um, base downwind position final. Short final is four miles. Say you wanted to make that five, you could set your defaults to five and nine, for instance. Um, this is a database. is uh, 25 January. Today is 30 January 2024, and it's 2:30 in the morning in Connecticut. I get up because I, I wanted to do a um, one of the scenarios. Um, click on either statures or meet, um, statute miles or, or meters. I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to do uh, statute miles and pounds. I don't have to adjust any of these. We're not going to do those today. Um, you get some general instructions here. Control the button. Um, We'll be able to do that in just a second. And uh, that's options. Landing will give you a landing report. Uh, Mad Dog, which I'm flying today. Medium brakes. Flaps 28 is my default. And have them do the after landing flow in uh, some situations. If the several aircraft are supported right now fully. They are the um, Mad Dog MD-82, Phoenix A320, the PMDG 737, and uh, also the Horizon, I think the 787-9 and the fly-by-wire are fully supported. All the other craft have limited support. But all these scenarios that I'm going to show you, not all of them are for the Mad Dog or the 737. So that's the Mad Dog setup. PMDG's here, airport editor. Put any airport in here, and uh, you will get, um, you'll be able to see the iOS freaks and approaches available. Fly-by-wire, Phoenix, others, and... Uh, so we're on to scenario. So that's where we're, this is where we are today. First thing you do, um, auto-tune the next frequency on standby and enable push to talk. So that's just like that sim. But this one, they'll actually auto-tune the next frequency so you don't have to put that in. However, on the profile I'm doing today, I already tried it once, ran out of all sorts of space on my C drive. And it's, I'm starting it over. But it wasn't auto-tuning. I think this is comms only. This particular flight is comms only. But anyway, push the talk. You definitely want to set that up. Uh, select the button. Uh, we'll use either yoke, quadrant, whatever your controllers are. It's in there. I'm going to use the uh, yoke. And I'm going to set my mic button here that I use for that sim. And then I see number one. Okay, click it. It says number one. Um, this is say again in case you missed some instructions. Um, I'm going to use, I want to use my hostage stick, which is my uh, nose wheel steering stick. Press the F2 button for say again, and there you go. So your, your push to talk button select, uh, selected, and your say again button is now set. Voice and text, I'd recommend this for now. If you want to be more realistic, voice, because naturally you don't have the text up there. But it'll help your hearing impaired uh, office um, uh, viewers, but also it helps you quite a bit. So um, don't test the audio. If you see your thing in here, it's really loud. Open Scenario Manager. This is interesting. And here's where we are. List of available scenarios. Oh, there's nothing. Let's see. See, green means already installed. So I've played with a couple of these. So pick the aircraft you're flying. This is only for the scenarios or for um, all of them with all the stuff is for these, these aircraft. The generic, though, all aircraft... Um, you could try and be able to position yourself on downwinds and probably do the comms and everything. But here we go. Mad Dog MD-82. Here's everything that's available for the Mad Dog. It's not not available for the 7.3 or whatever. This is the Mad Dog ones available. I already did the um, GFK to LaGuardia. That was quite challenging. Flew over, got my runway change. Today I'm going to, I've downloaded If you see it in green, it means you've already downloaded it. I'll show you how to do that. So flight 1317. Right there is what I'm going to do today. It's a level one, um, no failures. Its difficulty is uh, beginner. Voice enabled, yes. Origin, flight level 220, starting position, gate C31. I have to tell you, Origin Airport, yesterday it was C26. 
same flight, MD-82. It was C-26. That's very, very interesting. Um, so, anyway, I guess it changes. Boston to Kennedy, JetBlue, voice must be active. We did that. Open the lesson plan. Um, Sinbury flight plans right here. If you click on it, opens up Simbrief, and you should be you suggested route uh, Fox Sox. Yep, you suggested route. Generate the flight, and I always do the PDF to go with it because we need the taxi fuel, a few other things burn in route burn. PDF, and there you have it. Um, JetBlue flight uh, 1317, Boston to JFK, Newark City alternate DC 9-82. Departure date, here we go. Everything's good. Just 47 minutes in the air. I'll make it seem like longer than that. Uh, 22,000, and uh, all the rest is good. We're on runway 22 right out of Boston, going into 22 left to Kennedy. And we'll set this all up down here as we get going. But we just generated this flight plan. Um, you open the lesson plan if you want. I would definitely do this. Really cool. You can walk through from the beginning to the end. By the way, if this goes really well, I'll forward it to JP so he can reference it on his panel. Because sometimes when you click on a scenario, it will have YouTube videos for that. JP's done most of them, but maybe a guy like me sneaks in. JetBlue 1317, short flight, Boston to JFK. Initial setup, um, Boston 22 right, Terminal C, gate C26. C26. That's what I mean. That's different than what was on there. Um, weather preset. is this, See this weather preset? When I download the flight plan, it also puts the weather preset. We'll have to set that. Keep that in mind. Uh, aircraft weight and fuel. PMDG uh, triple, uh, 737 fleets and the Phoenix A320. Uh, automatically, they set you zero fuel weight and fuel. We have to set ours up like we're just out there without any of this stuff. Other aircraft, please go direct if desired. Take the amount of fuel. FMS MCD clearance. Here it is. That's what you're going to get when you call ATC, which we will. Here's your weather. Basically, a nice nice day out there. Uh, 3024 is the altimeter at both places. Keep that in mind. 10 miles, and the winds are about the same. Avison departure on 2345, which is different than the frequency found on the uh, Navigraph page. It's 2345 with Avis. It's on COM2 only. That's important. Procedure. Start MSFS in Boston, stay on C-26, Terminal C, make sure the aircraft is powered, APU or uh, GPU, then you start a, 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 a uh, FSI panel. No hurry to get the start. I'm going to load the entire airplane just like I was on a regular flight. I'll start FSI panel because all we're getting today, really, guys, is the communications. So I'm just turning on ATC is what I way I think of it for some of these profiles. Other ones, when you're on the runway, it'll set up your box. It'll set up your your uh, glacier control panel, everything, your flaps, everything. Uh, but this particular one is only comms only for the MD-82. Um, do not interfere with the cockpit setup. We know that. This scenario requires you to switch frequencies. You don't want to read the notes and tips unless um, you, you want a little help. And it reminds you a couple of things. See this little V, uh, little Y here? We're going to be at Charlie 26 in here when we go on the Microsoft Flight Simulator world map. Taxi instructions, taxi this. So you can kind of review that in your head before you get in here. Initial climb, 5,000. Uh, expect radar vectors. Going to do the parts arrival to the ILS 22 three degree glide slope. Don't worry, I put that in there. Vacate the runway to the right and join taxiway Zulu to cross 22 right. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, we'll talk about that later. And here's all the frequencies. Um, I went through the trouble of writing them down just because it's almost like being on BATSIM, but with, uh, I write the frequencies down on BATSIM as well when I see them up there. So it helps me. This is great practice for BATSIM, great, great practice for real world for guys who don't. Um, I already fly this stuff. Um, ATC Voices, he thanks everyone. And that's uh, JP's, um, who's the developer, FSI panel training scenario for this particular one. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. Uh, right now we just have Simbrief in this in here. And I'm just going to get up. And I like to keep my normal checklist um, available up here and drag it over. It's easy for you to read. A little of switching back and forth so you don't get seizures. So I'm done with that. Um, in this case, you would download the scenario. Now, we don't really have to do that. Uh, weather preset installed and scenario added to your DB. Okay, there you go, database. Um, and there you go. Um, 
but we're not going to fly it yet. So I'm going to close this out. We know it's downloaded. And that is something you would do before you ever started Microsoft Flight Simulator. So now we come in and we start the simulator and I'll be back. Okay, so we went through the FSI panel. We downloaded the scenario and now we're going to come into uh, World Map. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I could really use the subscribers. As of this morning, we were 1,780 um, subscribers after streaming for about 10 months. It's really fun. It's a blast. It's my retirement plan. It's my way to give back. Um, we're going to go Boston Logan. And we're going to go to C30, uh, C26, which I told you. Remember I talked about that Y here? So it should be here. C26. And that's all they asked us to do. Now, if you wanted to, yeah, you could uh, come up here and put in uh, KGFK. And we know we're going to be uh, doing, you can pick whatever runway you want to, want to be going to. We're going to be going to gate, uh, I think they said 20. Don't know which one is C20. We'll have to check that out uh, when we get down a little lower. But uh, ILS 22 left for now works. And I'll put in... Uh, just so if, you, if you're one of those guys who wants to get a nice little view of what we're going to do, come out of Boston on our way down, come up over uh, Parch, Kenny Bunk, over Long Island and make our way in for the LS22, Taxi to Gate 20. I would also like to bring the light on so we can see some things. And you go to flight conditions up here, which you can't see, can you? Uh, but you go to flight conditions and presets and slew through the presets looking for uh boston gfk did it download yes it is there it is and it's selected so that's it so we've got uh the time the weather the gate the proper gate you close it out and you start flying so guys uh yeah uh pretty new to flight simming uh airline pilot uh 36 years with american airlines I retired in September, uh, September 6, 2023. We have a nice Discord channel. We'd love for you to um, subscribe, like the videos, and join the, vi uh, the Discord. A lot of aspiring pilots over there. A lot of guys with a lot more time in the sim than I have. A lot of uh, older guys like me. It's, it's really growing, and the interaction is great. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, it's all over there. I'm where I am, even this far as, not far as I, I really not am. Um, because of the help of those guys so um, there it is and you click in and you're gonna be cold dark at the gate and the first thing I do is request refueling because that takes the longest. refueling truck is on its way and I run a checklist get the people Please boarded. don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it so we come in this poor fo she's got a long day ahead of her uh circuit breakers are in they're not modeled we know that um these are modeled they're all in we uh, come up the middle uh, over here we check for the halon fire extinguisher pressure breathing equipment appropriate checklist or life vest behind the seats fuel check truck for is the in position. observer's mass fo's mass FO's Please rope. Don't load aircraft FO's until window the fuel. closed. Please use your airplane fuel My system to set closed. the desired fuel quantity. My rope, rope's available. Please set your fueling and everything you want. Okay, well, we'll get to that in just a second. Truck's already out there. Um, we come up the middle. Um, I check the trim zero. Just because we do the inspection, you want to see that the tabs are correct. Uh, throttle's right. Thrust, uh, thrust reversers are down. Spoiler lever's down. Uh, flap lever's up gear handles down in the detent fire handles are in we've got the wipers are off very important over here it's putting gun ring power on we've got the aux pump and transfer pump the hydraulic system is checked go back to the overhead and now we're going to put the battery on twice get that horizontal there uh, oh, guys, this is, uh, I did do a pre-flight checklist. I'm new on the airplane, um, even though I have a couple thousand hours on it. It's from a long time ago. Uh, Mustafa, he has some great videos on all this stuff. But I did do one, uh, a full pre-flight. Today, we're going to keep it kind of short. Um, well, right there, we can get the AP, we can uh, go to the electronic flight bag. They want to know, they're outside wondering what, what's, what kind of fuel you want, guys. We're going to tell them right now. 
turn it on, go uh, weight and balance. Uh, first thing we should do, of course, goes to tech log, uh, weekly check expired request. Ah, no, I'm not going to do that. Report defects, so there's nothing there. Back to the page, electronic flight folder, weight balance. Uh, we're going to go sim brief, operational flight plan down here. Click on it, and there it is. It all updated. Looking for fuel on board, 13.4 here. Fuel on board looks like it's uh, 14.1. And our um, sim brief flight plan said 14.1. So it looks good. That's the one. And uh, so they know how much fuel they need. Right? Now what I do is uh, go to ground services. APU is kind of noisy. They usually like you to hold off. But I'm going to open that door because we're going to board. And I'm going to go to ground. Truth is the agent would open the door when the uh, maintenance, uh, when the uh, jet bridge came around. Hmm. There it is. Uh, GPU, we know what that is. Get that uh, ground power unit on. They're fueling. This is the uh, high-pressure bleed air auxiliary starting unit to run the packs. This is the big fat hose that runs the, uh, just goes right into the ducts. All right, and then maintenance here. Uh, nothing going on there. And uh, documents, we could set up the checklist over here. Get that ready to go. Kind of drag that around a little bit, right? And there's before start and everything. Come back to that. Uh, and charts. Nope. I've got a Navigraph all set to go over here. I'm just going to do my own and drag it over. A little easy for me to see. I don't feel like signing in. Um, unload. And then we're going to search for our new flight. And sim brief. Uh, import the flight. And it's Boston JFK Jet 1317. You can see I tried this yesterday unsuccessfully. And there we go. And we're going to go to guest here. Taxi, airport. And there we are, 9. So we're going to push back. Nose north, November, November 2, and on, on out. Um, so there we are. We're in the aircraft. Now, some of the Simbri profiles, you could start FSI. Uh, uh, the FSI profiles, you could start it right now and load it up. Um, this one, we have to do everything ourselves so that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to come to the overhead panel and turn on the external power Autopilot. And what do we Autopilot. do next get the coffee going get the coffee going i'll get the emergency lights on we'll do the whole we'll do some of the checklists here in a little while guys i'm not going to do every test the mock speed warning and you know all all that stuff and the gpws that's all in the origination pre-flight. The, the video would just be too long. And this is, I'm trying to make a video so JP could use it for the Mad Dog N82 on JetBlue Flight 1317 from Boston to JFK. That's my plan. One guy would do the walk around and do the into the overhead and everything, the origination pre-flight. The other guy would load the box, generally. MD82, uh, database 25 uh, January through 22 February. Today is 30 January, so that's good. Position and it. I'm going to put in Boston, K Boss, K Boss, and uh, that'll give some reasonableness here. Yep, they all look good. GNS coordinates seem fine. We'll put those in, and now the GNS is aligned. Go to route, uh, K Boss. We already wrote it, loaded it into uh, Sim Brief when we downloaded the scenario, right? So we know when we go this, everything but the SIDS and STAR will load. And there it is, right on course, right on function. And we're going to be looking for the SOX uh, departure and the parts arrival off SUI. So we're going to go uh, here, departure arrival. We'll do SOX. And it's going to be runway, um, let's say 22 right came off the uh, 22 right. Yep, um, and it's going to be the SOX 7. No transition route. I'll activate it now and execute it, but not before. We'll also come in here and uh, we're going to go to uh, to index Kennedy. I less two two left. 
and we're going to do the parts arrival we talked about that and see more transition SCY whatever that is and uh, execute it we got that done we're gonna go to index we're gonna load the fuel and the fuel we said was going to be uh, 14 1 I should move that over so you can see it 14 1 so uh, we put in 14 1 N I know you guys probably know this but this is kind of a stream of consciousness I'm not the expert on the plane but you guys are so I uh, would appreciate any help you can give me uh, zero fuel weight is uh, 110 point uh, 110.8 one ten point eight and reserves where well, you find the reserves you should go to PDF all the way down the bottom reserve plus alternate two point seven and three point four is six point one so reserves is six point one cost index is fine cruise altitude is uh, flight level two two zero Flight level 220 winds at 348 at 25. Three forty eight twenty-five. Uh, temperature D is minus minus five over here. So we put in a minus five. And there you have it. Now's a good time, 110.8, for me to go here, and I'm going to put in 110.8 for the zero fuel weight on the box. Winding, winding. You can see they are fueling it, 110.8. When I come out, when I'm done setting this, um, I'm going to be really nice if I had gone the correct way, right? I'm going to uh, load the passengers so that we're not too delayed getting out of here on our flight down to Kennedy. Our JetBlue flight in the uh, MD-82 Leonardo. I probably could have uh, done this better for you guys, but I don't have any automatic controls that can do this. So I'm just slewing this weight up. Ugh, it's ridiculous. 110A. It's probably a faster way. If you guys know anything, leave a comment, suggestion. I really need all the help I can get. I progressed a long way since uh, 10 months ago when I started flight simming before I retired, um, but not far enough. Oh, 110A. Oh my God, I feel like I have to take a knee and rest. 110A. Is there a few way to set? And um, let's go to the other box because we'll set the eight cars up. Menu, eight cars. Here we go. Pre flight, init data, and it. Then we're going to go do the TPS. Remember, right now the other person will be working the. Um, okay, go return once the init data is loaded. Uh, go weight and balance. Trip fuel. What do we say that was? 6.1. PDF. It's in the bottom here. 6.2. 6,200. And taxi fuel. You get that off the bottom as well. Taxi fuel is 800. I hope this helps, guys. Um, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion. Uh, fuel, we're looking for, what was it 14.1? Fuel, 14.0. We'll call it 14.0. And once you put that in, you send. That's telling the company what your fuel is and uh, what you're planning on. And then you go to uh, flight plan. You can get that coming up and return. And messages crew message what I do is so as soon as I get this is page 101 is I go to down here and I said 13.5 I'm gonna drive it also to flaps 11 so let's uh, just zoom it in here 
That's not a good view. Not at all. So, uh, 13.5. It's a little touchy. Flaps 11. All right, and uh, that puts the uh, green bug somewhere down there. I just tend to do things when I'm thinking of it as I'm loading the box. Okay, uh, back to the box. Speaking of which, we've got the uh, new crew member right there. So I'm going to do this one. 13.5, got all that. Return. The new disappears. It shows viewed. New flight plan. Uh, it's going to keep showing new until you cycle through it. It's all your points. You could review it there if you wanted. And you return. And those are all done for now. Okay, back on the box, takeoff. We don't know, right? So we are going to go to electronic flight plan. We're going to go to performance. And we're going to start here. we got a runway 22 right at Boston. Dry flaps optimum. Now I'm going to put it in 11. Don't ask me why. Uh, when uh, we got to get the ATIS. I did it before. It was 200 at 10. We'll, fix, we'll figure that out in a minute. 200 at 10 and the altimeter was uh, 3024 30.24 I need to set those altimeters in here as well press B there 3024 I'm here so like once again stream of consciousness I do things as I think of them for instance up here almost no pilot can stand watching an uncaged attitude indicator we must all do this early but back to the uh, here ah, we better finish up the um, TPS first okay uh, outside air temperature is uh, 24 Celsius 24 24 I don't want to uh, slave it to max power I'll let it do a reduced power takeoff and they saw packs are on uh, takeoff weight. Just showing you this, guys, because uh, as I was learning things, I realized there weren't many guys that I needed a full presentation with um, time, time stamps on there. So that's what we'll do today. I estimated takeoff weight is um, 120, basically 124. 124. So, uh, 123. 675 and I'm going to calculate it and there you go um, we've got a v1 of 128 133 144 um, if we come back in v refs 130 uh, flaps up at 147 slats at 185 cleaning maneuver is 227 flaps 15 until you pass that we're going to go flex temp flex temp and 50 so uh, 50 on the flex temp 28 33 42 28, 33, 142, okay, and uh, we're going to go flex temp 50, turn the art off, and once I do the, start doing the overhead, I'm going to uh, start boarding the people, but before I do, I want to get some cooling air on the aircraft. So I'm going to, uh, here we get the master caution. We got a fire detect loop. We get the second one, we get the fire bell. Fire left engine. Silence the bell. There's another loop. Engine fire on the uh, EOAP, master warning. Punch that off. Looks good. Turn one of these off, the other one off. And the fire test complete. And why do we do that? Because I want to get the APU started. And I'm going to go up here. And I need to turn on one fuel pump. This aft fuel pump. Right. And uh, then I can start the APU. And just hold this until we get a little bit of a percent rise. Oh, and it's not working. Why isn't it working? 
because the start pumps, uh, no, 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 it should have been working. Uh, that we didn't need the start pump with external, so it just took a little longer than I expected. I got excited, didn't I? Got all excited. Um, so the AP was started, uh, so that will have cooling air on the aircraft when I get the packs on. I'm going to go to GSX. I'm going to request boarding. Boarding requested. And I hear the jet bridge coming up to the door, which I opened way too early. Okay, let's go back to the overhead. We see the APs on, available. Uh, we, I'll do a, go ahead and check the... Bolts are good, amps are good. Uh, that's the battery, I should have done that. Uh, APU, uh, 115, 400, plus or minus, looks, oh, looks good. So I'm gonna turn on the APU, and as soon as they hear that APU going, They'll be downstairs uh, begging you to turn off the you want to ground power crew? units. Uh, no, they're already on board. Passengers boarding starting. Okay, I'm going to come back in here. And services, we do not need the APU anymore. The uh, ground power unit, I'm sorry. Ground power unit's off. Good. Let's go outside see how they're doing before we do the overhead panel. Oh, they're busy. Loading the bags. They're already done fueling. Kind of Captain Creepy here. Captain Creepy. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Yep, nice ride down to JFK. Nice ride. Yep. Welcome on board. Yeah. Very cool. Alright, let's go back inside and get this show on the road. And that's because I had one of my uh, Boeing buttons improperly pressed. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Alright, so one person's doing uh, the overhead. The other person's loading the box. So let's have a, let's simulate doing the overhead here. We'll go all the way up to the top. We're not going to do any of the tests up here, guys. Um, I'm not going to set up the flight recorder. Really, no, nece not necessary to do that. Well, I feel guilty I'm not doing it, so uh, maybe I should, but we'll check that in a minute. Um, okay, so up here on the overhead, upper left, all these, uh, the, all the switchers are in the 12 o'clock position. Not going to do tests, not going to test, test the voice recorder, not going to reset the generators. Assume all that's done. APU is started. We can turn on the APU air now. We can uh, turn on the Packs, but we've got to get those cross feeds open first, right? Cross feed one open. Get the two open. Uh, those are all open. Okay. Back to the overhead. APU's going. We got some air. We got uh, pressure. Right here on the bottom, when we turn off the packs, we'll get a lot higher pressure than that. Uh, I'm just going down here. We don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Like I said, I'm just getting the inch of landing ice on. Just doing the basics here. Emergency lights are armed. Uh, we're not going to set up the flight today. Uh, all these tests we're not going to do. Eight cars message. Go down the box. And uh, nope, we already got those, so that's no sweat. Andy Scape, we're not going to test. We're not going to test any of this. We're going to set up our Kennedy is 3024 on the altimeter. If you remember, uh, two schools of thought on this. You can, if you've got a long leg, you can set up your return. But in today's case, just being practical, uh, Kennedy's 13 foot field elevation, Boston's around the same. So, uh, you know, you don't have to, you can just leave them at the same. But tended to halfway over to switch for the landing, as I remember. Shut the door, I'll go deny on that. Wipers are off, the uh, windshield anti-ice is on, that's it. There, we're going to go down to the um, bottom left. Uh, lights, 
probably aren't necessary today. I like to throw them out just because in case it gets a little dark on final, but it's supposed to be good weather. I clicked here, got the bugs. They cross-checked with um, the, the uh, TPS off the EFB. Uh, we got us in map mode in 20. I can go, I'll probably go to map mode. In 10, a little, little clearer. 8 is the engine now, 3024. Set one, two, three times. We're going to go to the uh, glitch and control panel. Going to set 5,000 in here off the Boston 6, uh, the uh, Sox 6, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. 5,000. And here it's uh, 215. Let me try something here. I'm trying to get used to using this uh, Navigraph of uh, the uh, Logitech panel. 215. Save a little time. I'm going to set 250 in here. We'll talk about the profile takeoff while we're here. Uh, the uh, takeoff while we're here, rather. Uh, indicated airspeed. And I'm going to put 250 in here. And then we're going to review what we have on the glitch to control panel. Okay. Um, flight director's on. Connection's lost. That's not good. That's not good. Active internet. Get out of here. Go get connected. Um, so we got um, two flight directors are on. 250. Uh, right now we have heading hold altitude. We'll set a takeoff takeoff for the TPS. 5,000 and it's armed. 250. Uh, we got 15 degrees of bank limitation until uh, clean the maneuver. Vertical speed zero, number one autopilot because I'm flying. We'll practice with that. Sit. We'll check our, our frequencies here. I should have uh, the lights on. We can actually put those all the way down, can't we? The strobes are automatic will lift off whenever you power the aircraft. Uh, Michelle, streaming now. You have been switched to offline mode. Okay. Um, we'll see how that goes, guys. Such is the life of the uh, Sims, sim people. Uh, so the glacier control panel will satisfy with that. Art is off. We've set flex. We checked the 1.82 against our um, TPS. Altimeters is set. Cross check three times. Uh, we checked the gear handle down. We checked that. We checked the uh, press the button to test the uh, here. Oh, you know what we should set? We should set um, we set A10 en uh, for engine out reminder. But I'm going to set up uh, right down here in the PFD. I'm going to spin this up in case you come back in just around 200 feet. That's in the ballpark. It's also going to be the ballpark at Kennedy. Uh, you could set your engine out, um, which would be 800, but we set that on our orange bug as a technique. And I'm just spinning that all the way up. Save me a little work later on. I think it's going to be 213 at Kennedy. And get these all up. Lights are up. Successfully connected. Thank you, simulator. Uh, coming down here also, we need uh, 12 on the oil quantity and 5 on hydraulics. We have 14 and 16. Flaps are preset for 11. We know about that. Uh, we needed 14. We got 13.95. It's APU burn some. Gross weight is uh, 124.8. a little on the low side. Um, okay, go back down to the box. We just got another message load sheet looks like it's a final final is in get two pages and uh, acknowledge it uh, take off uh, Mac is a uh, 134 13 4 close enough at 11 and green bug is set and previous page zero few eight this is saying one 18 Eight. So a little different than the Simbri profile. I'm going to go with that because that's more conservative, right? 1188. Just have to go through another spin up. That's an awful high zero few weight. 1188. Yeah, our Simbri profile that was downloaded was a little lower, but um, we'll take the higher one and be cautious just in the interest of sim simhood here. 
Really, it's 118.9. 118.9. Okay, that should put our takeoff weight. Um, takeoff weight. On here. And it's 132.9, which is good. Okay, uh, got a little bit of fuel in the center. Going down the middle. Uh, radar is off and tested. Spoiler lever is down. Thru thrust reverse is down. Throttles are down. Flap lever is up. Uh, dial of flap is stowed. Uh, green bug is set with CG and flaps. Uh, ATIS will uh, ATIS will get in just a minute. I think it's uh, 2345. Let's get some of those panels set up while we're here, okay? There we go. Whatever reason you want to check. This is number two down here. Um, I read that clearance was going to be 2233. Three, three. We'll get that set while we're thinking about this. And JetBlue, uh, 1317, right? Uh, so JetBlue, one, two, Jet, one, two, three, Jet, B, one, two, three, four, JetBlue, 1317, enter that. And I press this one, and 2233, three, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to get TAR right now. Um, for standby and active, we're going to set in uh, ATIS over here, 2345. I wonder if I can do that with my COM. Forty-five. It's the sim world, guys. Right? It's never perfect. Twenty-three, forty-five. Whatever reason, my um. Let's hear the Adis. In just a minute. And down here it's going to be 21.9. Uh, what is clearance? Clearance is uh, 21.65. And the reason that ATIS isn't working, guys, that's not the real ATIS. And I haven't activated FSI panel yet. I'm just setting this from the, the briefing. Yeah, I, I've set that function to work where it puts your frequency in for you automatically, but it's not going to work. I did it last time when I was before my sim crashed. Uh, Twenty-one nine. All right, so where are we after all that to do? Somebody had to do it, right? We've got uh, ATIS in here. That'll come up. It's not the real ATIS freak from Boston. It came up to the briefing. Uh, we've got clearance over here. Ground over here. We'll put tower in. We've got departure. This one's at ATIS. Uh, we have um, zero set on the trim. All the way around. Cross feeds are all open. And it's time. We Turn on some lighting here, just in case it is the sim. Who knows what I'll do wrong. And it looks like we got a, another ding. Might be the flight attendant saying they're ready for takeoff. Uh, ready to go. Uh, viewed, acknowledged, everything is good here. Load sheet finalized. So that must mean it's the uh, overhead. Uh, eight cars message. Flight attendants say they're ready. And good. Let's do the... Uh, do the checklist. We're getting pretty close, aren't we? And I think I'm going to uh, start by going and boarding is completed. I'm going to prepare for pushback and we're going to uh, start engines after pushback. We're going to run the checklist, see what we forgot. All right, normal procedures checklist. Flight recorder, uh, AIDS, we tested. Acknowledge that. Jeffords is going back over Hello, there. Captain. We are ready for pushback. We're aligned. 
FMS were checked. We cross-checked it with each other. Emergency lights are armed. All those tests are done, guys. Pretend we got them done. Kevin sign. Oh, up! I didn't do that. Made that look more difficult than it had to be. Uh, Kevin sign is on. Windshield anti switch is on. Engine sink is off. So one is tested. Air conditioning shutoff switch to auto. Did that. Uh, fire protection system tested. Thrust rating panel is tested. Fuel quantity, we checked at that. We checked the altimeters. Fuel shutoffs, we checked off. Cabin pressure level was auto uh, before start. Parking brake set. Uh, flight flight mode. I do this, guys, at the gate because um, it can be too much later on. Uh, let's see. Flight mode. Locking gear. Flight mode. It's going to work out nicely, isn't it? Bring the checklist back up for you. For start, pneumatic pressure, PSI. We'll see that. We're going to turn the packs off and the center tank fuel pumps, all the pumps on, and a collision. So they're getting ready to go here. All right, so we'll call, but let's first go to the overhead. Actually, let's first do this and get the uh, anti collisions on. Anti collisions on. Go to the overhead, turn on the fuel pumps. I'm going to uh, go to A on the start. I'm just going to get that ready because they're, they're about to get us going. I'm going to come down here and go to the checklist. Four star, pneumatic pressure, hydraulic left pump, stand, pumps are on, any collisions on, uh, air collision normal, switch normal, the supply switch is off, pneumatic levers are open, press levers are idle. And they are before start check complete. Okay, um, let's go. And I'm going to start up FSI panel now. We are completely ready. And all that's really starting, guys, is the comm uh, for this particular profile. But that's cool. So it's not bad, Sam, but it's uh, some pretty special stuff here. So um, Boston runway 15. Now we're supposed to be going to. Uh, Two two right, two two right. And da, 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 da. Training scenarios. I do this. I open up JetBlue thirteen seventeen. The green means it's download. We've already reviewed the instructions, and I disable all failures. Now we'll leave them in there if they give us anything, and start training. It tells us it's downloading the scenario pack. That's what this says. You can't see it. It's off screen. Uh, Cockpit and FMS are not set in this scenario. Please be sure to set your cockpit. And uh, that's it. So, uh, ATIS on 2345 and acknowledge. And it should start in. Night. Landing runway 22 left ILS approach. Runway 15 left and 33 right closed. It, this is Boston Airport information echo. Wind 200, 15 knots. Visibility 10, cloud view 4000 feet. Temperature 24.18, altimeter 3024, departing runway 22 right, landing runway 22 left ILS approach, runway 15 left and 33 right closed, advise on initial contact you have information echo. Alright guys, there's no ramp frequency, that was the ATIS information echo, we have that, and um, that's that, we have echo, and... Uh, Let's try to do this. So we have to get pushback clearance, and we'll do that on ground. Right, ground's here. Oh, we got to get clearance. 2165. You know, they didn't give us a frequency for clearance. Why not? You know, maybe. What I had to do, guys, is cue the mic here. Left ILS approach. Runway 15 left and JetBlue 1317. Yep, that's it. You are cleared to JFK. Sox I had six to departure. Click, click Plan this 5,000 feet. Expect flight level 220 10 minutes after departure. Squawk 2233. Departure frequency 133.0. Okay, JetBlue uh, 1317. Cleared to JFK. K, runway 22 left. Sox 6 departure. Climb to 5,000, expect 220, 10 minutes after departure. Squawk 2233, departure freak 1330.
JetBlue 1317, read back is correct. Call ground 121.9 for push and start. All right, guys, what I had to do is key the mic, that's all, um, to get that going. So, uh, call ground for a push and start. All right, we'll do that in a second. 2233, three, three. so let's go down on the radio panel. 2233 three, TARA, that all looks good. We've got 21.9, and we'll get tower set here. The frequencies don't automatically change on this particular profile. JetBlue 1317, read back is correct. Call ground 121.9 for push and start. 21.9 for push and start for JetBlue uh, 1317. This is Boston Airport information, Echo. Wind All right, so, uh, and Logan ground, JetBlue 1317, Charlie 26 to push back with Echo. Chip Blue, 1317, good morning. Push and start approved, facing north. Report ready for taxi. Okay, push and start approved, face north. We'll call ready for taxi for Jet Blue, 1317. All right, guys, uh, so I'll come up here and continue the pushback. No, face north. Release parking brakes, please. Brakes released. We're star. Parking brakes, we did that. EFB set flight mode. Pressure engine ignition system A. We got that. We got all the pumps are on. Anti-collisions on. Uh, we can leave those switches up. We can uh, go to the overhead. Overhead. We can open up the number, the right engine start valve. Hold this till 40%. Okay, go back down. Big deal. Uh, we got a a rise coming up here. We got oil pressure coming up. That's really good. 11. And why isn't it starting, guys? You know why. Because you've got to turn the packs off to get that pressure up. So, lesson learned, baby. There it goes. Pressure's up. There it comes. Max motoring, or 20%, on 25 seconds to get an ignition. Uh, feel free to comment, correct me, guys. Captain Cavu, you buddy. Um, he's a real experienced pilot, retired from American as well. Uh, coming up, we're looking for 2468, usually uh, right around 2 here, 4 here, or 6. is 40%. We can turn off the uh, valve, come back down. All right, so uh, two, four, six, eight. The oil. We can close the cross feed. We can go to the overhead. Turn on uh, one of the packs. Right. Let's do it this way. Turn on the right pack, and that pack's powered, but we still have enough thrust for the uh, uh, pressure for the other engine. Press and hold this. Start valves open. We're getting rotation. Looking for 20% or max motoring. We've got oil pressure rise. Uh, min here is 12 and 5. We've got 14 and 14. Oil gulp takes place when we bring this start switch up like that. You'll see the oil go down about two quarts. It's not modeled here. We'll be looking for 2468. If it's below 10 and visible moisture, we put on the engine ice. But we're at uh, 24 here. So we're not going to bother. 40%. I should let go of the start switch. Close the cover. Turn off the ignition. Uh, turn on the other APU uh, pack. Come back down here, close the cross V valve, up to the APU, we don't need that powering anymore, nope, 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 and off and we can shut that down, that'll shut down about a minute and a half after the cool down, still pushing us, checklist, after start, we've got to be careful because he's still got us going, 
After start engine ignition is off, pitot and static heat it. Yep, I didn't do that, did I? Still learning this airplane, guys. Still learning it. Pito static heater. It's on. If you want, you can go through and check them all. Not really necessary. You, you easily leave it in the captain position. Air filled anti ice switches were just the windows on. Ignition supply switches to auto. That's a big one. Get both of them. Two. See number two there. Two of the auto. Door Q light checked off. It's off. Hydraulic system checked and set. And we're going to go over here. And we're just going to look at the hydraulic system. Brake temps are good. Uh, we've got on, on. Transfer brake temps good. Please set parking brakes. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Copy to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. While he's disconnected, we can get the flaps tracking down to 11. You still want to check the flight controls while they're still hooked up. Uh, all right, we talked about the takeoff. All right, um, what, let's do our takeoff brief. I was sitting here, guys. Uh, so we're going to taxi out probably November, hold short of the runway. November 2, that is a hot spot there with the circle. Uh, for the takeoff, be my takeoff. We're going to be flying the uh, Sox uh, departure Unlocking at Boston. Care. which is a nav departure in for runway 22 right, 215 heading to intercept the course to J. So at 400 feet, I'm going to go um, nav. 1,000 feet, I'm going to go half rate right on the vertical speed Bypass pin and climb power. And then we'll get the flaps up, slash retract, going to 5,000 contact right departure. All right, so we've got ground here, tower on the other side, guard over here. And uh, everything's clear. We'll give this guy a salute right here by flashing the taxi lights. They'll go away. Now we want to come inside, check the rudders. I'll check the rudders. And the FO checks the spoilers and ailerons and the elevators. And let's do the checklist. After start's good. Uh, for takeoff, takeoff runway entry point. We'll talk about that. We take takeoff data is confirmed. Fuel balance uh, 6.9, 6.8. That's good enough. And uh, okay, okay. So AP air switch is off. I want TRP as as required. VR bugs are checked. Flight instruments are uh, checked. FMS is checked, flight controls checked, flap slat lever is 11 extend, auto brake spoilers. Spoilers are armed, auto brakes are TO. And uh, Avon rudder trim 00, we already checked that. Takeoff is complete, cabin reports obtained, taxi test complete. Before takeoff, we're going to do. Uh, take off data confirm after we get the close out engine ignition to both. Tell you what, guys. Going to go engine ignition to both now. So I don't forget. Like that. And EOAP, parking brakes and art. Looks good. Let's uh, make sure the door is shut. That'd be good. All right. Um, I don't see any reason we can't go. Let's contact ground. The taxi. Logan Ground, JetBlue 1317 off Charlie 26 taxi. JetBlue 1317, taxi straight ahead, right on November. Hold short, 15 right. JetBlue 1317, taxi straight ahead, right on November. Hold short, 15 right. All right, guys, let's go. Bring the uh, throttles up. Auto spoilers are on. My uh, panel, my Bravo throttle panel, honeycomb was not set properly, but spoilers are already deployed. 
All right, so we got the uh, taxi lights are on. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Get them ready. We got a ways to taxi, but they, no more than less than two minutes. You have to be ready. So we got to give at least two minutes notice, and then uh, to chime when takeoff is imminent. Right now, we got a clearance to hold short right here. JetBlue 1317, hold short, 15 right, contact tower 128.8. JetBlue 1317, hold short, 15 right, contact tower 288. All right, so um, what it used to be, some of these profiles you go down there, tower's already on there, it's really cool, but uh, not today. So 288, and then it's, uh, what do we have for departure? 330. It's not going to help us out, is it? 33-0. Oh, I took the long way. Hey, my Logitech decided to start working. All right, so we clear left, clear right before we call them. And Logan Tower, JetBlue 1317, hold short of 15 right at November. JetBlue 1317, Tower. Good morning, cross 15 right, taxi November, November 2, hold short 22 right. JetBlue 1317, uh, good morning, uh, cross 15 right, taxi November, November 2, hold short 22 right. All right, so that's good. And here we go. Clear left, clear right, taxi lights on, master caution is on because of the art in parking brakes. Alright, here we go. Alright, so um, once again, be my takeoff. We got takeoff, takeoff showing. We'll get 1.4 set on the EPR. Uh, I'll arm the auto throttles. We'll check clamp at 60, 80 acceleration check, V1 rotate. We've got our bug set and our flap and slot retract, bank at 15 till clean in maneuvers complete. We'll go nav at 400,000 feet. We're going to go uh, half rate on the vertical speed, probably be about 1,200 feet per minute, and then uh, flaps up, and uh, climb power rather, and then flaps up. Then we'll go slots retract, get it cleaned up, and uh, if we lose an engine, 810 is our engine out. There's no engine out procedure off 22 right. We'll just come back in and land. At 3,000 feet, it's a good mid sector. And we got the weather, everything's good. And any questions? No questions. All right. What do we, how are we doing on the before takeoff check? Before takeoff, tech of data runway, take out ignition is both, EOP is checked. Um, before takeoff checklist complete. Hopefully uh, this is good enough to uh, have uh, JP put it up on his, what well, cleared across, put it up on his, one of his profiles, that's my goal, make kind of a good one, help you out buddy. You can see where we are here. Coming up on 2-2 right. iPads are the best thing that ever happened to us airline pilots. All right, flight attendants prepared for takeoff. We're going to assume they're going to get us going here. Jet Blue 1317, runway 22 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 22 right, Jet Blue 1317. All right, finals clear, line up and wait. You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and uh, ding them because they're uh, we go line up away to two right yeah pretty cool with these scenarios I like the training aspect too I haven't used it yet where you can put yourself on base downwind final do multiple approaches um, 
I like the training scenarios are challenging. Gets you used to talking to ATC, right? All right, finals clear. Line up and wait. Lights are on. JetBlue 1317, wind 200 at 16. Runway 22 right, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 22 right, JetBlue 1317. All right, the winds are 216. That's what we planned on. That's a headwind. Uh, so the every all our takeoff data is good. We're looking for 1.82, and we get it going. We'll take it rolling. Let's do this. Headwind on the windsock as well, right there. For nose. All right. Looking for 1.4. Auto throttles on, please. Looking for 1.82. Thrust set. Takeoff thrust set. We look at 60 a clamp. Means the throttles we can move them around. We're not going to move anymore. 80 knots cross check. And with a cross cockpit check. Standby cooling fan. Thought the engines failed the first few times I uh, positive rate flew the sim here. Gear up. I'm right, looking for 400 feet because that's our company's nav altitude. There's 200. Gear up. Lights out. There's 400. Give me nav. Nav. And we're gonna go autopilot on guys because I've got to do this presentation. Next thing we're looking for is a thousand feet. We'll go half rate. If you look over here, we're doing tw two thousand. So uh, there's a thousand feet, half rate. We'll just bring that down a thousand. Vertical speed, a thousand. There's vertical speed, a thousand. And climb power. Look here. We can go flaps up. Climb thrust set. This slats retract will be limited to uh, fifteen degrees once we bring this up. Lats for track. Okay, here we go. Still doing nav. Right now we're doing nav. Vertical speed. We still have not been handed off to departure yet. Motion. And now we can come up here, guys, and we can hit uh, VNAV. So we got VNAV and NAV. Let's see how it goes. Expecting a handoff here shortly. There it is. Contact departure 133.0. Good day. 133.0, JetBlue 1317. Good day, sir. All right, come down here. Departure. Departure JetBlue 1317 is out of 3,000 for 5,000. JetBlue 1317, no contact. Please squawk 2233 and ident. 2233, and there's your ident for JetBlue 1317. Two cast system test, okay. All right, so ident right here. And JetBlue. 1317, there's your ident. JetBlue 1317, radar contact, continue climb 9 or 1,000 feet, turn right heading 180. Continue climb to 9 or 1,000 feet, turn right heading 180 for JetBlue 1317. A 190 and 9,000. 9,000 is armed. Uh, I don't know if this thing's leveling or what at uh, 9,000. 
let me go uh, indicated airspeed 9000 the power up there it goes yeah it wasn't uh, climbing don't know why way too high in the power climb power art switch off climb power is 1.8 I've got 1.9 give the vertical speed another chance so there's 1.8 set uh, VNAV rather VNAV set and set 1.8 yeah that's funny didn't want to do it didn't want to do it it's going to be 213 we come back in right now we're on a 190 heading we're heading select in VNAV climbing to 9000 I'll set in the Kennedy. JetBlue 1317, uh, climb 11,000, 1, 1,000 feet. Climb the 1, 1,000, JetBlue 1317. All right, 11,000 is set. 11,000 is in the window. In VNAV, heading, deeper. It's good. Should have this set up for legs. So expect that uh, coming out of 10, it'll accelerate to climb speed above 10, about 300 knots. Uh, we can do the checklist. After takeoff, brake temps, check, gear handles up, auto brakes off, speed brake levers down, flap stats up, retract ignition as required, center tank fuel altimeters. Okay. So uh, we can go ignition off. Center tank fuel, we're fine. Got 50 pounds, we'll leave that there. Out of 10, we'll expect to see a uh, increase in the airspeed. You now have capture, there's 10, airspeed's going up nicely. We're climbing 10 for 11. JetBlue 1317 for higher contact Boston Center, 135 decimal 8. Have a good day. 130, 135.8 for JetBlue 1317. Good day. 135.8. Oh, it just, it just auto tuned that for me, guys. Boston Center, JetBlue 1317, level at 1 1000. JetBlue 1317, Boston Center. Good morning. Identify. Proceed direct SOX. Climb and maintain flight level 190. Okay, direct SOX, flight level 190 for JetBlue 1317. Okay, let's do this. Throttle get all the way back up there. Back in the V nav. Yeah, for some reason it's not doing it on its own. I'm having to uh, prompt it with vertical speed. Right 190. Direct socks, rather. Anytime, Jeff. Direct socks. Socks. Execute. Nav. Check the socks, get that heading bug slewed around. All right, we're in VNAV and NAV, climbing to one nine to nineteen. If we want to check our box, our climb was supposed to be at 296, cruise 290 is fine, descent 290, it's all good. Get my I'm going to get my arrival set up for um, Boston flights and uh, New York, rather. How's that, guys? And 
Star, Parch, Parch, uh, Calvertin, 250 and 12, Robert 9. Those are expected. 250 and 12, Robert 9. Let's put that in. Calvertin, 250 at 120. And we'll expect Rober at 9. And those are expected. Okay. Set. Checklist. I take off. Brake temp. Gear handle lights. Flap stop. Everything's good. Descent. MSA. We'll break the approaches here in a minute. And we're out of 10, so I can get the lights out. Um, the, the Super 80 lights actually cause drag. We usually got 18 at American Airlines for all the other fleets. But a couple of them, like the Airbus and the Super 80, actually, they come out of the wings. They fold down little landing lights. So they actually create drag. Give you about an extra 100 feet per minute on the descent when you need it. I'm going to look at something for my landing way here. Uh, PDF. We are going to be over socks. And if you look at socks, burn is 3.4. We're landing with 6.2, so it's 2.8. So, um, 2.8, 2.8, so we're going to be down around uh, 2.8, so 3, 127.3 will be our landing weight. So if you go to the box, go down here, one, yeah, see, that's, that's wrong in there, so uh, 127.3, we'll let's fly about a 135 on final. Wait till we get out of 18. Lights are already out. We're navin direct the socks. When does the box think we have to start down? We'll see when we get up here. Out of 18, let's set the altimeters. Standard, standard, standard. Checklist is complete. 213 set on the minimums. Yeah. Uh, 18 for 19. Get the Jet bugs. Blue 1317, maintain flight level 190. Traffic 12 o'clock, 747. Range 12 miles. Expect higher shortly. Okay, negative contact on the traffic. Jet Blue uh, 1317, maintain flight level 190. Get the heading bug slewed around. We'd be looking for him on, uh, well, I don't need to do that. Uh, we'd be looking for him on TCAS, naturally, which we have on, but he's not showing up just yet. Bad habit of clicking down here in the uh, nav display and changing it. Never did see that guy. Let me go outside look. Nope. Yeah, we're going to do this arrival in um, over Sandy Point, which is SEY. I think I called that Seymour. Uh, coming in, Parch, Sandy Point, Parch, uh, Calverton at 12 and 250. Rober will expect nine. We'll expect these are expected. Jet Blue one three one seven clear of traffic. Climb flight level two two zero. Climb flight level two two zero for Jet Blue one three one seven two two zero set. An arm, but it's not working. So I'm gonna do guys. Uh, help me out here. What am I doing wrong? So there's vertical speed. I'm gonna get the power up. To uh, 1.9, which is my climb power. When I do, then I'll try. Uh, I think I might have something to do with my throttles in here where I have them positioned. 
is 1.9. I'm going to try now VNAV. VNAV. It stayed at 1.9. Yeah. So um, I'm, it's like I'm pushing an arm in this switch, right? Double clicking or pulling or... Um, and it's not doing anything. I have to hit VNAV again. Is that it? Put it in and hit VNAV. That probably is it. Uh, I'll try that next time. New on the airplane. Been a long time since I flew this thing. So there's 20 for 22. Altimeter set. Everything's done. We can actually check the uh, descent checklist. It's pretty well done. I'm going to check the approaches. Radio altimeter hydraulic system set and check. And I guess what we do here is... Um, You come across, and once you're all cleaned up, you can go low, low, save these hydraulic pumps. Just got to remember to and off. Got to remember to turn those on for descent. So we'll save the descent check for later. 21 for 22. Uh, kind of go in for that. We talked about the the uh, arrival. Here's the approach. ILS 22. Got to get those set up. I'm so used to these airplanes that are automatic. Uh, 110, 9, 224, and 212. 110, 9. 21 for 22. 224. Level 1 at 22, nicely. See if I can set the course like this. 224. 110, 9, 224. I guess in case we have to do a cat 3, should always have this fella set up 2. Jet Blue, 1317, fly direct, Parsh. Autopilot. Direct to Parsh, Jet Blue, 1317. All right, let's go direct. Parsh. Parsh. We'd say, how does that look? Looks good. Execute it. And nav. Looks good. Trick parse, bring the heading around. I'm expecting cavalry at 12 and 250, rover at 9. Alright, got 110, 9, 224 is set. And we set that on both sides. We've got 213 decision altitude set on both sides the uh radio altimeter the barrel set here 213 it's actually 212 212 and uh it's a set of tw 212 as well fms looks good arts off looks good landing data we talked about it It'll probably be a We've got the, we're going to use these bugs, guys, right here, 140. We're a little heavier than what the uh, box says we are. You could probably reset the zero fuel weight in here, 118.9, 118.9, index, perf, zero fuel weight, 118.9. That's better. Index approach. That's better. It'll be about 140 final approach speed. Uh, after two, after landing on T2, I, Lord only Lord only knows where this gate is. It says we're going to gate 20, which doesn't really tell you much. So I might have to use GSX and tell them we want to go to gate 20. Uh, taxi parking gates because there's a 20. All the way in Jet here. Blue, one three one seven. Contact Kennedy Approach one two eight point one two five. Good day. 
Uh, Jeff Blue, 1317. Kennedy Approach, 128125. Good day. 128125. We don't have their ADIS, but that's okay. Uh, 128125. They set that for me. Nice. It was all set. Um, their ADIS because we had it on the ground there in the, the briefing. And we know it's 3024 for the altimeter. And approach, uh, JetBlue 1317. We have the information ADIS at flight level 220. JetBlue 1317, Kennedy Approach, good morning. Clear parts to your arrival. Expect ILS 22 left. And good morning, uh, JetBlue 1317. Clear the parts 3 arrival. Expect ILS 22 left. So on the ILS 22 left, approach, ILS 22 left. That's in the box, 1109 224. It's set. Check on the box. Legs, Rober, Craig, Capit. Rosley Zalpo. Rosley at 3000 Zalpo at 1800. All right, Rosley at 3000 Zalpo at 1800. I'm going down to a 212 DH. We've got a the lighting is Alsaf lighting 2. Pappy's on the left. In the event of missed approach, climb to 500 and then a left turn. Up the two, uh, off the JFK 190 radial, at uh, the chant and hold. We can do that via nav, if we have to. After landing, ILS 22 left. 8400 foot runway. We use brakes medium and flaps 40. We'll plan on getting off down here at Juliet and hold short of the inboard. We're going to gate 20. Parking gates. Airport Mins. Parking gates, Terminal 4. Gate 20 on the International Terminal. Is that it? International Terminal's over here. And Gate 20 is down in here. So we're landing on 22 left. Juliet. Probably right in down in this area. Let's check that one more time. Yeah. Wow. JetBlue 1317 descend 12,000, 1, 2,000 feet level by Calverton VOR. Altimeter 30.24. 3024 descend uh, to 12,000 level by Calverton. JetBlue 1317. All right, guys. So um, let's go in here. We'll put in 12. that's armed. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it now. Right now it says uh, top of the... Let's get this out of the way so we can look at this. It says top of descent any second here. We'll see if it goes. We got Calverton at 12 and 250. We're in VNAV and NAV. Throttles are coming back. Let me see. If you look at the uh, box here, under Prague, next page, 18 feet below. There it goes. That tells you where you are and the distance here as well. And, of course, more importantly, you've got the uh, vertical track indicator right here. And they would have told them we're out of uh, 22 for Calvichin at 12. So if this VNAV works properly, it should be a Calverton at 12 and 250. There it is. And right now, the I would back that up with a green hook. is showing that. So let's take another look, guys. Short taxi, and evidently, um, we're going to go. If that's gate 20, what's funny is if you take some of the other terminals, uh, packing gate coordinates, uh, that's terminal 4. Doesn't really give any other. Uh, there's uh, some other terminals. Are there any gate 20s? Other gate 20s? Uh, there's a gate 20 over here. There's a gate 20 in here. So I don't know which one. We're not international. So uh, JetBlue terminal is over here. So uh, we're going to plan on going to 20. So I would guess we're going to get um, 
20 is this long thing right in the middle, delta alpha. I need to write that down. Uh, so I think it's going to be right on alpha, right on alpha, delta alpha, gate 20. We'd also have to get a ramp frequency if there was one. Must be JetBlue right there. So um, go here. Clear a 2 2 right, probably Juliet hold short, right on alpha, all the way out around on alpha to delta alpha, gate 20 right there. That's my plan. If it's the international terminal, it's in here. We'll see what he says. Those are the only two gate 20s that I saw. All right, descent check. We're down below 18. Set the altimeters. 3024 once, twice, three times. Descent check, please. And let's go ahead over here and get back to high because we're going to start configuring. Jeff Blue, 1317, reduce speed 250 knots. Slow to 250 knots, Jet Blue, 1317. Kind of what we're planning on doing at Calvichon anyway, right? And I went FMS override. It's still showing Calvichon slowing down to 250 at Calvichon, looking good. I think we're ready. I got the approach briefs. Don't know what they have in store for us. Calverton. Uh, I don't know about this, fellas. I'm going to go vertical speed. And just get us down there. Put the speed brakes out. Fourteen for twelve. And it says we're going to be down to twelve here, by t at, in at two fifty. I just got a little nervous there. Probably not necessary. Speed brakes coming up. Thirteen for twelve. So we're navin it in altitude capture. Thirteen for twelve. Slowing to two fifty. Cavalton. Well, two fifty. You look at the box here. It says we're uh, 140 feet above. JetBlue 1317 to send 9,000 feet. Send to 9,000 feet. JetBlue 1317. Okay. 9,000 is set. We're just going to go indicate their speed in the power back and go on down at 9,000 to 9,000. Still in a. Uh, Nav, I'll bring the heading around to match. Check the checklist. Descent. V bugs, radio altimeter set. Hydraulic signal set and check. Pressurization uh, checked and set. It's, we basically want to make sure we are depressurizing, right? So I just paid very little attention to this. Yeah, it looks like our cabin altitude's 4,000, differential's 1, so we're good. We're depressurizing, like the altimeters are all set. Uh, do this coming up out of 10 so we'll get the lights flight attendants prepare for landing please and uh, one last thing we have to do is reach way up here and chime them send in a 9 should be a 250 It is. Leveling at nine. It's Long Island. The Hamptons are back there. Jones Beach coming up. Woohoo! 
All right, there's 9,000. Looking ahead to our checklist. Descent's good. Approach, cabin signs on. We've done that. Fuel system set, we've done that. Altimeters and bugs, we've done that. Approach checklist is complete. So we're good on that. Okay. Probably could have let the people up a little bit, made a P8 level off, but I didn't. JetBlue one three one seven descend seven thousand feet. Turn right heading three one five vectors two two left. JetBlue one three one seven descend to seven thousand right turn heading three one five for two two left. Right, two one five in the heading. JetBlue 1317, descend 7,000 feet, turn right heading 315, vectors 22 left. And that's the problem. 315, 7,000. Alright, turning right, hitting 315 and descending to 7,000. 7,000 is armed. Heading select 315. Look good. We come to the box. Make sure the approach is set up. Legs. Rosley. So we can kind of uh, figure we're going. We can delete these uh, the pit. Right? We'll expect the vectors, delete these vectors, just leave the discontinuity in there. I don't think that you're able to do this. It used to be cool, you could uh, go like that and set up a direct that way, but that's not how it's working. So, uh, legs, execute. Uh, let me delete that again. Do one more time. The pit, delete, and delete the vectors. And just leave it like that to clean it up a bit. It does not want to go down to seven, does it? There it goes. Yeah, it's something to do with that. I've got to actually move my throttles in the uh, cockpit. Maybe that's how it used to be. I don't remember that. Don't remember that. Idle power usually you get about 1,200 feet per minute on any transport category aircraft. Uh. Alright, I'll two capture. 7,000. Hey, JetBlue 1317, turn left heading 280, descend 5,000 feet. Left 280 down to 5,000, JetBlue 1317. Alright, left 280. 5,000. Alright, 280, 5,000. Get the throttles back. Indicated airspeed. Get back there, guys. Yeah, it's almost like I've got to move my uh, throttles in the cockpit. Kind of push them forward and then bring them back to get it to work. It's okay. Same thing in the airplane. You're always looking to make sure it's doing what you thought it was going to do. Here's Rosley right up here, guys. 
I don't know why Crail's still showing. Let me just go. I think I'm going to do a direct Rosley on the box just to clean it up. Direct Rosley. Direct. Execute. We just find the heading, but that cleans it up. It's five, uh, six for five. Remember, Rosley would want to be down to three, so I would expect him to be getting me down there pretty quickly. JetBlue 1317, speed 210 knots. Slow 210, JetBlue 1317. We're going to be down below clean limb maneuver, so I'm going to put out slats so we can go more than 15 degrees of bank. Slats extended. Making sure of that. There's five. Yeah, I'm going to put out flaps 11 because we're going to be kind of high. Rosley should be down at three, 10 miles to go. So he should be dropping us down there momentarily. JetBlue 1317, descend 3,000 feet, direct Rosley. Direct Rosley down to 3,000 feet, JetBlue 1317. All right, there's uh, Rosley, indicated airspeed. Going down, and we are navving it direct to Rosley. So we get nav, and 3,000 is armed. There's two tens assigned. Flaps are 11, just to give us a little more drag to get down there. It shows us getting down to Rosley early. Get down, slow down, right? And Kennedy Tower should be 19.1. I'm not sure what it is. Kennedy Tower is going to be a 19-1. Jeffley 1317, clear ILS, 22 left, speed 180 knots to 6 nautical mile file. Clear ILS, 22 left, 180 to 6 mile for JetBlue 1317. Now you don't want to be doing this stuff in the real airplane. Someone else will be doing the freaks for you guys. Jeepers, crow. Jeepers, jeepers, jeepers. Head down, man. All right. I'm going to arm the ILS. ILS is armed. It was brutal. 180 to 6 miles, so I'm going to go out, uh, start slowing it down a little bit. One eighty to 6. Here comes the glide slope. We're five miles out from the FAF. I'm going to bring the uh, gear down. Bring my heading bug around. Oh, gear down. Three, three. Vertical speed, that's not what I wanted to do. Load capture. Don't know why it's climbing, guys. JetBlue 1317, contact right, tower so 119.1. 19.1, JetBlue 1317. Kennedy Tower, JetBlue 1317 for 22 left. JetBlue 1317, okay, Tower, good day. Continue approach. Nice. Continue approach, Jeff Blue 1217. All right, four landing checklist, uh, please.
approach speed is set. Spoiler lever is arm. Brakes will put on medium. All right, for uh, landing checklist, please. Approach checklist, final landing gear, slat slap, speed brake, auto brake, ignition selector, both EOP is checked. And uh, that's checked. Checklist complete, clear to land. And we talked about a uh, right hand turn off on Juliet, hold shorter, 2 2 right. Autopilot's off. Autopilot. Try to get a nice landing here. This is fun, nice uh, profile by FSI panel 2020 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Guy's name, the developer's uh, JP. He actually left a comment if I needed any help. I'm um, trying to figure some things out. I don't want to be a burden to him, but I noticed he's getting more profiles. He added the Horizon 787-9 to their to the Phoenix, the Fly-By-Wire, the PMDG, and the Mad Dog as the one with the advanced failure options. Uh, and if you have Microsoft Premium, any of the aircraft in Premium or regular Microsoft uh, will work for the vectors. A lot of these comm things probably work too. Right hand turn off, Juliet, hold short of 2 2 right. Flaps 40, go round is uh, 3000 set, runway heading set. It'll be a runway heading with tower. It's actually a left hand turn on a 190 out to pit, but we won't ever have to fly that. Jet Blue 1317, wind 200 at 12, runway 22 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 22 left, Jet Blue 1317. All right, clear to land. 1,000. Stable. Oh, did it just lock up on me, guys? Did a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, it's starting to stutter on me. Life in the sim world. Trim, trim, trim. Maybe I need a little more nose up trim. Still getting these landings down. There's my excuses, right? Two zero zero, so tiny, tiny little left cross. No excuses here. Five hundred. Stable target, sinking seven. I see red over white on the Vazies. That's the minimums. Call 100 above minimums. Is that warble? Minimums. 200. I think Emmanuel was asking about that. We had to figure that one out, didn't we, buddy? Eh, a little stutter on final, guys. Sorry. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Flaring like I'm in a big boy. Let's get the reverses out. Two in reverse. 60 knots. JetBlue 1317, taxi right on Zulu, hold short, 2-2 two, two right. Right on Zulu, short of 2-2 two, two right, JetBlue 1317. Okay, right on Zulu, short of 2-2 two, two right. That's hotel right there. Right on Zulu. All the way down? Okay. All the way down. Normally you don't do any uh, checklists on the runway. You wait till you clear. Uh, I did have them automatically do the checklist, but I don't think that's going to work here. Nope. She's, but she shouldn't be doing it till we clear anyway. This is Juliet. But they want us to go all the way down, right on Zulu. And then hold short of the runway. Checklist, we wait, we wait.
all the way down. That says Zulu. Old short. Seventeen taxi right on Zulu. Hold short two two right. All right, so that's so we can go up a little further. I should re replay that for myself. We can go up and hold short at two two right on Zulu. All the way down here, Zulu. I have never all these years. We got to go all the way on Zulu. All these years I've never done that. We're going to come way up here and hold short on 22 right at Zulu. Okay, right. Have it your way. Zulu up and then follow it up to the left. Clear the cross. Way I got that to play back, guys. I had set my uh, say again key and then the pre flight, what I showed you. What are we up to here? We're up to an hour 52. It's going to be over a two-hour flight. I'll put in uh, timestamps. Um, still learning to fly this airplane. Enjoying the heck out of it. Flaps up after landing. By the way, we did all that. We'll have to make sure that the... Um, see how we did here. Get the checklist here. Final... After landing, flaps that lever up. That's up. Auto brakes are off. They're off. Looks like she did it. Auto brakes are off. I didn't do that. Uh, after landing, engine ignition off. Let's see that one. We did that already. It's off. Pedal statics off. Yep, she did it off nice that's cool that's that little tick mark guys uh all right zulu we got to hold short of the runway up here shoot you right way up there this should be hotel here after landing ice is off weather radar is off air pills off okay looks good we got the apu started And we'll hold short up here. Don't know where we're going yet. That gate stuff. Um, we're going to have to. He's going to give his directions. We'll fig try to figure it out from there. Try GSX. 29. Suitable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Not important, is it, right now? Still got a long way to go to hold short of Chi Chi right. Good cross. Man, long taxi. Old shot up here. Right there.
JetBlue 1317, cross 22 right, taxi Foxtrot, hold short of Bravo, and contact ground 121.9er. Have a good one. Okay, uh, JetBlue 1317, cross 22 right, Foxtrot, short of Bravo, contact ground 219. So long. Good day. Foxtrot. So that's basically our left, short of Bravo. And tower JetBlue 1317 is crossing uh, 22 right on Foxtrot, short of Bravo. JetBlue 1317, welcome to New York. Turn right on Alpha, taxi gate 20 via Delta Alpha. Right on Alpha, taxi runway 20 via Delta Alpha for JetBlue 1317. All right, so guys, it is that JetBlue terminal all the way around. Go left on Foxtrot here. Right on Alpha, which is the second right. And we'll find Delta Alpha for gate 20. Delta Alpha is way up there around the corner. Well done. Scenario is over. Welcome back to New York Kennedy. I hope you enjoyed this rotation from New York to Boston and back. I will be looking forward for your feedback on the forum. Thank you for uh, flying and as always, stay safe. See you next time. And again, thank you very much to the pilots that have created the American voice. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was very nice. Guess he's signing off, huh? Looking for Delta Alpha, then we'll try to find gate 20. Is Delta Bravo. Second left should be Delta Alpha. There's Delta Alpha, left on Delta Alpha. A20 should pretty much be straight ahead. We'll have to try to figure that out. Like it's gate 20 right there. That's interesting. It says 21 there, right? There's gate 20 right there. Uh, 
looks a little tight, doesn't it, kids? We'll just stop right in here. Breaks apart. Seatbelt sign is off. APU is established. Shop the engines. It sounds like we got one of them down. I'm sorry, guys. That's very uncomfortable. Sorry about that. And chop the other one. I can't even see it, guys. So, all right. Now nah, we'll do the checklist. It's coming back. Let's do this. Let's go to the electronic flight bag. Let's go to doors. Uh, first of all, let's come back in GSX. And we'll get them de request deboarding. The boarding requested. It comes to Jet Bridge. Well, aircraft services. Main door open. Maybe not doing that just yet, because I maybe it's dissatisfied with my checklist usage. Engines are shut down. Oh, I know what it is. I never turned off the beacons, right? So that's off. Passengers deporting starting. Stro position only. Looks good. There they go. Um, all right. So uh, checklist. After landing, parking, fuel tank, pump switches required. Aux off, pocket parking brake set. All right. So we did that. We turned off the uh, aux and transfer pumps. We turned off the fuel pumps. APU is running, so I'll leave that one on. Um, let's go ahead and get some external power hooked up by the ground. Aircraft services. Ground. GPU. Good enough. People will be off. Back to the checklist. Parking check. We did all that. Uh, parking brakes. Arc pumps are off. Fuel pumps are off. Emergency lights leaving the plane. So that should be it. We'll get all that when the people get off. We could go to the overhead, and we could uh, turn on the external power. And what do we do wrong? The packs aren't running right now anyway, because we never turned open the uh, cross feed valves, right? Make it easy on me. All right, we'll leave the APU going until people get off. Let's go outside, say goodbye to the people. Come on, folks. Captain Little, Captain Big. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you wouldn't mind subscribing. I'm going to try to do, i got to go work on the TFDI MD-11, I'm the quality assurance guys over there. Uh, that was Father Time, don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Discord, hang out with us, really appreciate you guys. I'll try to put, uh, I will definitely put um, timestamps on this. It's basically cold dark without all the, ringing all the fire bells and everything, and how to use the FSI panel 2020 from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, thanks, JP and Microsoft uh, Flight some of the FSI panel guys. Uh, worked out great. That was a lot of fun. All right, Father Time is out. See ya.